Boom! What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I am here, Justice Calibro. Got the new trim. It's a lot shorter than it was. It don't look like Jesus anymore. Oh yeah. Uh, Tristan McKee, uh, Logan Drumfeller. What's up? Uh, getting ready for this, for this crap show that's about to go on. Hey, I, hopefully it won't be too bad, but we're about to go out for practice for round three of the Winter Heat Series. Oh, see you, Justice. But yeah, we're about to go out for practice. I don't know how many rounds we're going to get in, but it's from two to five today, and then tomorrow is round three race day, and then Sunday is round four. But really excited. I uh, really think we can really get the car dialed in in this session. going to try some new things, get some things figured out. But I'm excited, uh, and let's do it. Before we get into this week's video, I want to give a very special shout out and thank you to this video's sponsor, Love on the Track. Love on the Track is a high action chick flick racing movie that basically tells the story of a young girl whose father has grown up all her life broadcasting for the world of NASCAR. And when this young girl is faced with tragedy, she falls in love with the best driver in the league. And I don't want to spoil anything else because it's a pretty dope movie, not going to lie. I've already seen it before everybody else i got an early sneak peek preview but great movie starring chase elliott starring myself as the young version of chase elliott because apparently that's my celebrity doppelganger anyways great movie comes out valentine's day this year check it out would be a great great way for you and your significant other to go spend the day at the movies watching this great film and also i want to give a very special shout out ryland hawkins bro i know you've been wanting me to give you a shout out here it is man everybody go sub to him um, his account name is Typical Gamer. Um, posts almost daily uploads every single day. Just a great guy overall, and he posts bangers on his channel. So make sure you go check him out. But let's get into the video. All right. So practice just got wrapped up. Round one for the semi pros in the books, and it went really well. Let me tell you guys, we were P1 in practice. I don't know how many cars were. Probably the same typical 20-something semi car pro field, but. We were fast. Corey Gordon's got this thing on rails. It's dialed in. Um, still think I can pick up just a little bit more. Um, gonna fix some things. Just still getting accustomed to everything. Get back in the groove. Get in the rhythm. All that good stuff. But car was really quick. I'm really pumped. Um, hopefully we can keep this speed for the rest of practice and carry it in tomorrow because things are looking good. Yeah, you get, you guys already know uh, that second round of practice was really good. We were P1 on the charts again. Um, we picked up even more this time as opposed to the first round. I think the first round we went like a 32 maybe, and the last round I was P1 with the 099, so almost three tenths. Like, wow. I mean, the car's on rails right now. Couldn't be more happy about the speed and effort we've shown today. Um, we only have like an hour left of practice, so I think we're going to break in tires. Um, but hopefully our speed today can translate to a win tomorrow because me and Parker Eatman were both very, very fast. Uh, couldn't be more proud and thankful for my team. Um, really excited about the speed we're showing because like we definitely can go into tomorrow and win as long as everything goes right, which in racing that's easier said than done. But just want to stop in real quick, let y'all know how everything was doing really good day so far we only have about an hour left i'll check in here and there and then i'll see y'all after practice but what a great day so far practice has concluded everybody uh definitely a very good day of practice parker showed up late what's you what's up parker what up? uh he was big ripping like he ran a what an 03 yeah it's a new track record ladies and gentlemen both of us were just big ripping today um really quick uh just car felt great Corey Gordon's got them dialed in. We're focused, we're motivated, all that good stuff. We're gonna go out tomorrow. I mean, I think the expectation at this point is two Ws. I mean, I, after the speed we showed today, there's no reason why we shouldn't go out there and just absolutely just fly. I mean, <laughs> set track records, going full throttle around the whole racetrack. You guys know the vibes. But I think we're gonna go out to eat now. I don't know where we're going. We're gonna party and Stay up all night playing NASCAR Joey, heat. We're with Joey Malone. Joey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> uh, how was practice today? Fantastic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and his boy Becca Malone. We'll get him in the vlog tomorrow. It was absolutely ripping, just flying around the Charlotte quarter mile. But 
Actually, you know what? Let's not let's not wait till tomorrow. We're What's here. Up, guys? We're here with Beckham alone. Beckham, how was the car? Good. Um, what are your hopes for tomorrow? That I'll qualify first and take the lead for the whole race. Hey, we got very high expectations tomorrow, so let's go. Good morning vlog. We are here on site at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Round three of the 2021 Winter Heat Series is about to begin. Just getting ready for the driver's meeting coming up here in a couple minutes. And then we have two rounds of practice qualifying and a 25 lap feature on the books today. I am super stoked. Not only were me and Parker's legend no, cars. Oh, all right, well, we're gonna watch the driver's meeting, but we're gonna still talk, obviously. But yeah, me and Parker's legend car dialed in. It was money. All the bandos yesterday were dialed in. They were money. Team Gordon, you know, just can't thank them enough for all their hard work and effort that they put in this. Really means a lot. All right, everybody. Practice has gone really, really well today. Just wrapped up the first two rounds. First round, we were P1 in practice. Car felt great. Second time out, we were P2 just by a hair, though. It was like 1-1,000. It was very close, but car still feels really good. Track doesn't have a whole lot of grip, not a whole lot of heat in it. It's actually really cold out here today, a lot colder than it was yesterday as you can tell by Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. But things are looking good, and we got qualifying coming up next, so hopefully we can put on the pole. Let's do it. All right, uh, post-qualifying. Uh, in our fields, honestly, um, it wasn't a bad session at all. Like, it really wasn't. But, like, P2, definitely not bad, but definitely felt like we had more, more than what we showed on the quick time. But quick just... Time. Yeah, quick time, but we'll go get him in the race. Starting P2, not bad at all. We got a big semi-pro field. Probably going to be a lot of cautions because there's a lot of cobs out there. I'm not going to mince words. There are some absolute noobs, but, I mean, honestly, the expectation is to go out there and win the race. Anything other than that's a letdown, a disappointment. We're here with Tristan Bruce. Tristan, up, how are you feeling? You know, uh, fastest times, improving always, every time we come. Uh, definitely got the brakes figured out. We're starting P18. You know, want to choose that outside lane on every restart. Yeah. You know, just don't want to get cut up in all the oh, turn one wrecks, you know? Oh, yeah. It's, go it's going to be a crazy race. Uh, P Doge actually qualified on pole, so that's, that's good for a little bear. And we got Jack Baldwin. Jack, what's up? What's up? I don't really know what this kid's really in his feels about. He qualified second. Never seen him qualify second before. I've, I've got a great feeling about his race today. I have a feeling he's going to get this win. Oh, yeah. I mean, okay. To be honest, it is the best I've ever qualified in a legend car. So I can't be mad. Like, it's the fastest times I've ran Did all you weekend. Pole at okay, actually, <laughs> cut it. It's the second, second best I've qualified. But we just got to go out there and keep our hat on straight. And I want to park this in victory lane because you already know the vlog is going to be hype if we win this, baby. Let's go. All right. Just got done with the race. Uh, this is my initial gut check reaction, like, right off the scene. Um, we finished P2, um, you know, for most of the race, we kind of got shuffled back on one of the chooses and got in traffic a little bit, but got back up to running in third there for a while and then got to second and then was running down the leader and just ran out of laps. I mean, there's things I could have done differently that would have ultimately won us the race, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's racing and I mean, could have, would have, should have, that's just always going to be a part of it. And so... It's unfortunate for sure. Really wanted to get the win today. I felt like we had a really good car and one of the best cars out there, if not the best car. Um, but, I mean, that's just how it goes. I learned a lot today. This weekend overall was a huge step in the right direction. We're getting faster every single week. Um, our whole team, we're dialed in. We're locked in. I'm ready to win some races. Um, second, it hurts. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's pretty painful, but... I mean, I, I will hold my head high on the fact that we did have a good run today. We had one of the fastest cars all weekend and just the progress, honestly, that we made. And we got Florida coming up next week. And so I'm going to be dialed in for that and really hope to get some W's down there. But not bad overall. All right. So it's a little while after the race now. Um, about to start heading home. We were going to have a race tomorrow, but unfortunately it was rained out just due to the high percentage chance but there, there was all day in Charlotte. But... We're gonna make the long ride home and then just get ready for Florida coming up at the end of this week. Um, really excited for that, obviously, but that's gonna wrap for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like if you made it this far. You obviously like the video, so drop me a thumbs up. That'd mean a lot. Comment, 
and subscribe. I will be back. Hey, be ready. We got a ton of racing vlogs, ton of regular videos coming up. Uh, obviously, since it's going to be February, i um, not going to be doing the two times a week, but probably just going to upload at my own pace whenever. Sometimes it'll be two, maybe one a week, but definitely going to still be keeping at the bare minimum weekly uploads for you guys. But like I said, that's me all for this week's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you guys soon. God bless.